so I'm thinking the way I'm displaying it is not effective. Whoops. Our hotel here in Anaheim because we just spent the last two days at Disney and now we're going to head over to Ontario to set up for AXGB. Woo so excited. Um, this is technically day zero which I almost never participate in because I don't like to make things longer than they have to be but I don't think setting up on day one was an option so and we're already here so like why not. Oh but before all that we're gonna go to Porto's. <laughs> we're gonna get breakfast because when I used to go to school in LA, I'd go to Portals all the time, it's so good. And I mean, we even, we already went yesterday, but we need more for today. It's so good. Okay, see you there. messed up our order so they gave us an extra dozen of cheese rolls so all my ex chibi friends will get cheese rolls i have literally been walking around stupid convention center hunting down the registration center i don't know if this is confusing or if i'm stupid <laughs> through my stock and I think I forgot two XLs and three XLs of my best-selling Oni Girl shirt which is making me super pissy so I'm gonna go check the car to make sure but pretty sure I forgot them nevertheless show you It's 8.30 Saturday morning and we're about to head out. We got a lot of stuff. I got Portos to give to friends. I got my shoes because Robin wears heels, but I want to be comfy for now. We've got Cody. And we're ready to go. Uh, do you have to go through that one? Yeah. We're here and we're all set up. The lady just announced that it's starting, so I guess we should get behind the booth now, huh? Look at those lights! Mm, night market lights coming in handy. Hi! Easier. I'm vlogging with my phone. <laughs> <laughs> this is Ashley. I've been watching you on YouTube for a while, so it's cool that we're friends now! <laughs> Yay! So, we're off to a somewhat rough start already, just because I forgot more of my Owning Girl shirts. I pack extra because it's my best seller and so because I packed extra in my mind I was like oh I have everything but I actually missed out on 2XLs and 3XLs so only small through XL is available for this convention which is a bummer because it's my best seller I think I could have made good money but that being said it, because it's my best seller I know it's going to sell well at other events too so I think it'll be okay. Something else happening and this is going well so far is a stamp rally. I'm participating with three other artist friends. And I'll have their names down here somewhere. But people collect stamps and they can win prizes. Here is the sticker sheet that we made together. It's so cute. I can't wait to I can't wait to take some home for myself. <laughs> but this is my sticker book. And then the first 24 grand prize winners also get a mystery acrylic pin bag. So hopefully that helps with traffic flow. 
I hear mixed reviews about this event. I am just excited to be a part, to be honest. But I am hoping to profit, obviously. Ooh, people are here. Okay, goodbye. made my first sale maybe like 20 minutes in it's okay it's nice and slow right now and sent off my first stamp card so hopefully that brings in a lot of foot traffic check out how cute her sticker sheet came out Ashley the spirit designs made this for us it came out so nice thank you I can't wait to go home and put this in my sticker book <laughs> Also, here's a quick behind the booth peek. This is just the back of the display stuff. Down here, I've got like battery, accessories, bags. This is like the checkout station. Got the stamp rally stuff back there, caps and whatnot, stamps. And over here is just t shirt storage. Under is just more inventory storage. And then the chairs, using the chair to hold prints. My shirts are easily my best sellers and I haven't sold a single one yet so I'm thinking the way I'm displaying it is not effective Whoops. so I sent oh there you are I sent Cody to go get some hangers and see if we can change it up real quick we're almost three hours in slow for sales but I mean foot traffic is good people are just passing by I like to think maybe because it's still somewhat early people are still looking and since it's very large they have a lot to look at because the same thing happened at Lodi Comic Con right the first hour was dead but then I made a ton of money after that I don't know if I'll make a ton of money here but I think I think there's potential for it to pick up maybe after lunch we'll see last hour it's five o'clock day one is almost over this con is not it's not it it's fun to be here it's fun to be a part but sales are Go back in there. <laughs> forgot to record it but we're all done and so we left the artist alley and we're just walking around the night market portion it's cute it's like a mini 626 Chinese buffet. Day two. I don't know if this counts as a cosplay, but I'm wearing my Oswald ears from Disney. I'm kind of like a bunny girl, like a lazy bunny girl. And Cody is just Cody. It's not like the best, so I kind of just decided to write this off as a vacation and I'm just enjoying myself now. I'm getting food, I went shopping a bit. I'm just having fun now.
We're at noon. Today seems a little more promising than yesterday, but I mean, like I mentioned earlier, I'm kind of just on vacation mode now. It's just for fun and I'm having a lot more fun. <laughs> um, but Cody's on his lunch break and then as soon as he gets back, I'm going out again. Oh, but we are having a lot more um, stamp rally completions. I already got one pre-stamp, but I'm noticing today there's already a higher amount of those being done. Just had someone like check out a shirt and they said it was too thick for them. That's like the first. If anything, I always get compliments on like how high quality my apparel is. So that was strange. Made me sad. Let's do a gotcha. Hi friend. What will I get? Don't be gentle. Don't Where are you? Oh, there it is. Yay! Okay, let's see. Do you need see. help? Got a J-Dragon. <gasps> oh my gosh, yay! That's perfect, I love this one! Yay, thank you so much! Look at this. This was a freebie at Laurel Studio. Genius marketing. Love it. grand prizes left but still plenty of sticker sheets so that's good in general traffic has been well it's dead right now but in general it's been better <laughs> shirts are selling a little better today this is all I've got of my owning girl this was pretty full before so that's good ah! this is the one piece mystery bag that I really wanted ah! I'm so excited! It's <laughs> <Some boxes. laughs> I want I was gonna buy one of these anyways. This is great. Okay, we're already off to go. This is $25 by the way. 30 dollars. 30 dollars. Sorry. That's <laughs> shoe me. Okay, we got one. Should we open no we'll save it for the end. I wanna see the rest of the stuff. I don't know who this is. <laughs> but this is still cool. Uh, Hello! Okay, that's fine. The guy literally just was like, what did he say? He like looked at me and he's like, just want to let you know, it's, the design is nice, but it's not for me. Okay. <laughs> Way to ruin my vibe. Anyways, next thing. this but it's not like exactly the same this is so cute I love it okay what else what is this the bottom of the bag oh is that it no oh <laughs> so cool oh I can love this one yay I think that's it yeah that's it. oh I get another one <laughs> this, is, this is so good this yeah, one's really $30. good $30 this is more these are already like at the store, it's like what, twelve dollars? Probably. Unless you get them from a reseller, a little cheaper. This is like ten. This is at least. It's definitely more than thirty dollars worth. So that's cool. I don't know who he is. So if you know, please let me know. Yeah, okay, let's open these now. Should I try to guess, or should I just go for it? Hi. Awesome. Just finished out the stamp card. And you're also one of our grand prize winners. Thank you. It's twenty-four dollars online. It's twenty-four dollars online, so it paid for itself, so it's free. Okay, time to open these. Should we guess? Or just go. Oh, this feels like a round head. 
Let's do it at the same time. Ready? One, two, three. No, I think it's Sanji. I saw yellow. Yeah, I got Sanji. We already have him. Okay, this one is new. And we finally reached him in the anime, and he's one of my favorites. So this one was good. Not bad. Maybe I'll give this to a friend, or I'll trade with a friend. Yay! Again, Cody. Chopper. His feet came off. <laughs> I just had another weird conversation. I maybe I'll detail it in my recap. But in addition to that other interaction I caught on camera, like the heck is wrong with this convention? <laughs> oh, I forgot to sh to share this story. But yesterday I had this guy film me in my Robin cosplay, and I thought. It was just like some vlogger, and then he handed me this. What is this? Anime Expo Chibi, what is wrong with you? Well, I did a lot of damage at this convention, but we're on vacation, so it's okay, right? Well, anyways, at least she's pretty. And that's it. X Chibi's done. You can see everyone's tearing down. I have a lot of feelings about this event, but overall I'm grateful, I had a good time, and I just love being able to sell my art to everyone, so see you in the recap! I'm gonna have a little shrine of her in my office. You're getting four eyes, Kelsey, today because I need to order new contacts. Welcome to the part of the video where we recap and review the event and this event being Anime Expo Chibi. Here I'm gonna talk about the pros, the cons of the event and whether or not I would recommend it to someone and how I just felt about it overall. So I always like to start looking on the bright side. Let's start with some pros. My notes so I don't get distracted. Okay, so disclaimer, this is gonna kind of sound like I'm pulling pros out of my butt, like I'm making stuff up, but truly these are things that I find really invaluable and I'm really grateful for these things, even if it's not what you would typically want as a business. You know, you think of like money. It definitely wasn't money at this event, but I did get some really great things. First one being exposure. I haven't sold in SoCal before. This is my very first time. I've been staying so local for the first year, trying to keep expenses low. And after I got accepted to this event, I was like, F it, why not? I wanna go to Disneyland. So it ended up just being like, a vacation trip for us and uh, let's tag on a convention while we're at it. Because of that, I was really excited to go display my art in SoCal for the first time. And because I do like, I don't know, 80, 90% original stuff, I don't do a lot of fan art. So there's not a built-in fan base for my stuff already, right? Like when I was going to Anime Expo, I was literally on the hunt for Nico Robin stuff and the, the artist didn't have to create any new attachment for me because I'm already a huge fan. It's not the case with my art. Sometimes it takes a couple glances. Like, you know, people have to see my art more than one time usually before they become attached to it and before they want to start and putting their money into it. And so this is the beginning of me doing that in the SoCal market. And so I'm grateful for that. The second one is experience. I am realizing I'm an anime convention noob. Like, <laughs> I thought I knew more about this scene than I did. But after going to this event, I realized I was like, I. I haven't gone to a ton of anime conventions. Uh, the only other larger one that I've sold at has been SAC Anime. And I was talking to uh, my friend Ashley at Lisperia Designs about this. And we, we've we come to the conclusion that SAC Anime is 
not your standard convention in the best way possible. I think this is part of the reason why it tends to be so lucrative and profitable for people who sell there. But Sack Anime is different from other conventions. There's something about it that feels more like, almost like friend oriented, family oriented. It's like more cozy, more comfortable. Um, and so because of that, it's like, it's almost more casual. And going to Anime Expo Chibi and seeing all these displays that were like, making me feel bad about mine. <laughs> I was like, wow, I have a lot to learn. There's a lot more for me to see. And on top of that, just getting to know more customers in, again, the convention scene, learning their habits, like learning that stamp rallies are starting to become something that is both fun, but also like a bit tired out. Like there were a couple people who were scared of my stamp rallies. Like they did not want to be a part of it. And so I'm, these are things that you learn the more you do. And uh, this is only like my, I think like my fourth anime, not even, maybe my third anime convention I've sold at. So I'm grateful for the experience. I touched on this a bit in the last point, um, talking about experience, but like inspiration. I left this convention feeling so freaking inspired. <laughs> Conventions around here, at least I haven't been to Fanime, so I don't know. But the conventions that I've been to, we didn't, we don't have like these wild ornate displays that they have at other events. So I was so inspired with like what I could do for my displays in the future. I left like excited to go home and create and make new stuff, which is always a great way to feel as an artist. And lastly, this is important to me. I had a good time. Like I enjoyed myself. The first day I was a little stressed out because I wanted to make more money than I was making. But once I just kind of decided and again, I knew this because people told me this, but once I kind of decided, I was like, maybe it's just not going to be the most lucrative event and had fun. I had so much fun once I just kind of let that go. And on Sunday, I just hung out and went shopping and it was a great time. And it's always important that I enjoy myself because I've worked jobs that were just like, you just stare at the clock and wait for it to end. So I'm grateful when I like what I'm doing. And I liked what I did that weekend. Moving on to the parts of the convention and the weekend that were not that great. Traffic was slow and like low. There were a good number of dead spots and this is not what you expect with the name like Anime Expo, you know, the, the biggest convention in the States. And so even if this is the chibi version, the smaller version, you still expect with that name a certain amount. And I think that's where most people were disappointed with this convention. I think had it had any other name, it would have been like, oh, okay, whatever. I mean, this convention wasn't the best, but it's fine. But because of the name Anime Expo, expectations for this event are a lot higher than they would be for other conventions. And I think that's where the biggest uh, disappointments came in, just because of that disparity, you know? Traffic was slow, and be as a result of that, sales were also on the lower end for me. Even if traffic was on the slower side, there was still a good enough number of people where sales could have been good. I've been a part of events that were only like one or two K, and I made like so much money uh, in comparison to how many people were there. This was the opposite. There were so many people, but I was making very little money compared to how many attendees there were. Another con, and I actually got some of this on camera. I had a lot of like weird encounters. <laughs> uh, hold on. I think this is partly because again, I don't have a ton of anime convention experience, but there are three big encounters that really just made me either uncomfortable or angry. <laughs> the first one was that guy who took a video of me in my Robin cosplay and then gave me like that weird looking business card. And I looked him up later and he wasn't like, like it was for some gaming thing. It wasn't as inappropriate as I thought it was gonna be, but it still made me feel weird, you know? <laughs> and then the other one was that customer who like, I'm minding my own business and he literally just leans over into my window and he's like, your design is great, but it's not my style. Okay, like, who the F are you? Who, why should I care? Like, oh, also, by the way, how are you doing? What's your name? Like, I don't know. I get it, I'm a business, but at the same time, it's like, is isn't to say I can't take critique. The way I actually learned to focus more on my original art is I noticed that my fan art wasn't selling as well. And I had one customer who didn't filter his thoughts and out loud said, why does he look like this? And I think I drew Thor or something like that. And it made me kind of sad. And he was so sweet after. He like really apologized and then he ended up buying whatever he criticized because he felt so bad. But then I took that and I was like, you know what? I think I stylized fan art so much to the point where people 
feel like they can't connect with this character that they're really familiar with. And I noticed at the same time that my original art was selling really well. And so I think the reason that my fan art doesn't sell so well is the reason that my original art sells well. It's my stylization. And so I actually took that criticism and it helped shape my whole business moving forward. So I'm actually grateful for that. All that to say, sometimes criticism is not helpful and it's just random and uncalled for. In that case, that guy helped me. In this case, this guy didn't give me any helpful insight. Like when I evaluate it, I'm like, there, there's nothing I can do with this other than say like, F you random stranger. <laughs> it comes with the territory that I've experienced it before and I'm ready for more, but that doesn't change the fact that I'm probably gonna get a little pissed about it and I'm gonna say F you. <laughs> thing that was kind of annoying was the inconsistency with the rules. We all got emails ahead of time and they said that we were not allowed to build our displays taller than seven and a half feet. But I noticed displays that were way taller than that and they were like that the whole weekend. So either they were asked to turn it to change it and they didn't or no one even spoke to them. I also noticed there were some artists who were completely blocking off the entries. Um, on the corners, that's where artists get in and out because there's not as much space in between tables. So we have to go all the way to the end of the rows. And the artist right next to me was completely blocking the way. And then another artist on the other corner was completely blocking their way. So it was just extra difficult to get out. And that's a safety hazard in addition to, again, violating the rules. So it's just kind of annoying. Um, again, I don't know if they were reached out to and they just ignored it but I at least hope there's some kind of consequence, like maybe they won't be invited back or something, though I think that's wishful thinking. <laughs> Lastly was the location. As a NorCal girly, when you tell me SoCal, I think Anaheim, where Disneyland and all the parks are, I think of Hollywood, I think of Burbank, like Disney Animation Studios. I used to go to school and I would travel to Burbank all the time because of Portos, which you saw a lot of in this video. <laughs> that's what I think of when I think of LA, Glendale, like, you know, really nice stuff. I don't think of Ontario. And apparently that's for a reason. <laughs> when I was talking to people who were SoCal locals, they were like, oh, Ontario's kind of the boonies. And I was like, I can see that. Kind of like in the middle of nowhere. Like I, we couldn't really find that great food. We had to go over to Riverdale. Riverdale? Riverside, <laughs> sorry. We had to go to Riverside to find good Korean barbecues. So I was just like, I don't think Ontario would be the best location. I've also heard rumors that this convention center, Ontario Convention Center is cursed, so. <laughs> Maybe if AX Chibi would like to make different decisions in the future, one of them would be a new location. But what do I know about running conventions, right? Apparently I'm an anime convention noob. <laughs> so all things considered, pros and cons, is this a convention worth selling at as an artist? Um, it's time for everyone's favorite answer. It depends. If you're local and you can keep fees as low as possible, then I would say sure like give it a shot and you can find out. Cause I know of some locals who did really well. And I know of some locals who were only about an hour away and they were still like, nah, I don't want to come back to it. So it just depends on what you find is worth your time. If a couple hundred dollars profit is fine for you, then absolutely go for it. But as an artist in business that had to travel from NorCal to SoCal, it wasn't worth it necessarily, but I think it would be worth it if you did what I did and you just kind of extended your vacation. So truly, like, let me show you. I'm a Disney nerd. I love Disney. Do you see this? Do you see my ear wall? I collect ears. I am a Disney adult unashamedly. And so every, chance I get to go to Disney. I'm gonna take it. And this is what this was for me. <laughs> Getting accepted into this convention was just a chance for me and Cody to basically take a vacation. Like, why not? Let's take off some time. Let's go to Disney because Tiana's Palace just opened up in San Francisco, so I want to eat good food. My food is like my second greatest passion after art. <laughs> But I would say it's worth it if you're gonna turn it into a vacation, if you wanna go to a convention for free, because that's what happened. I ended up not losing money, which is always great. But the profit margin was like so minimum, it was almost non-existent. Overall, Anime Expo Chibi was just, she's all right. Although I am curious to see if this affects my chances of getting into Anime Expo at all, so. Let me know your thoughts. Did you go to Anime Expo Chibi? Did you find it worth your time? Would you do it again? This is just the beginning of the holiday market season for me. This big event is going to be the Holiday Fair Market in San Jose. And if you are a local to the Bay Area, you're very familiar with this event. This happens on Black Friday and on Small Business Saturday. Get your holiday shopping in. And let me, let me give you a little spoiler of what's to come. So we all know everyone likes a free tote bag, right? And I've seen a lot of these uh, free shopping bags going around. So I decided to get in on it, but with me, you're gonna get a full canvas tote bag. You can see the name brands down there featuring my best-selling art. 
And this tote bag, look at this. These red handles are so cute. But this tote bag is gonna be free with $75 plus purchases. This is like, like, look at this, it's canvas. It's material. And I got tons of these. This is only gonna be available during the holiday market season. About three different events that I have booked at the moment. If you want a free tote bag, 75 bucks. That's just like three t-shirts. The time of posting this, that event's gonna be in less than a week. So I hope to see you there. I am so excited. If you are not local to the Bay Area, you can still shop my art online. I am gonna have a big Black Friday sale on my Etsy. So I'm not forgetting all you online people. You can also follow me on platforms like Instagram and TikTok. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, comment below letting me know what you thought about this video and what you thought about this event. I also have more videos coming up. Definitely the holiday fair vlog will be coming up. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye! Oh, when I was editing, I realized I forgot to include my third encounter. It was these two guys who came up to me and they told me they make porn and they wanted to know which one of my art pieces would make the best backdrop. And I was like, what? <laughs>